really touched my heart that there's so many and there is something that we have to do about it to get them all out. Um, I think the most profound part was like actually going into the church and seeing like everyone there and they're very have like they have no expression because they actually know what's going on and it kind of just breaks your heart a little bit to see all of that going on. Uh, it was really awesome to see so many kids out and involved and interested in what was going on with homelessness. And uh, I enjoyed the march uh, because there was a lot of good energy and we knew that we were doing something that could really help other people. Like I figured if I was like really prepared and if I really thought it through I, I wouldn't get cold but I, I was pretty prepared and I still got cold and I can't imagine like what would happen if I didn't have all my clothes and uh, if I didn't get to go home now and take a real nap because I didn't really get much sleep. And um, I like, I focus so much on like issues around the world, and just to see that like there are actually, if there's actually people sleeping outside in my city, like we do need to do something about that. And it's pretty cool that um, people have come together to, to get a good start on it and to support the organization. When the kids see and feel and see for themselves why they did this, you know, it was about raising awareness at the rally. It was about raising awareness through the march. It was about bonding at the Legion and through their supper. It's about experiencing the cold and knowing and appreciating when they get up the next morning, but it was like to hearing stories last night. Um, the experience was really, not, not really uplifting, but it was really informational. Um, you really got to learn about how many people there are that are homeless in the Legion. Um, such an interesting, interesting event because it's um, so multi-level, and it, it, the, there's the level of um, bringing schools together, not just a public board, but the Catholic board, private schools. It's it's something because it's about rallying, and and, and you know energy, high energy, and then it's something about about suffering, and recognizing you know. What, what suffering really means and, and how we could possibly let people suffer. And then it's also about reflection and about reflecting on, you know, how glorious we have it and how glorious, you know, our lives are in relation uh, to, to people who, who don't have it so great. And it's about building community and, and uh, about recognizing sort of the power of, of being in an experience like this. And see them trying to think through what the difference it would make in somebody's life to have some of those situations happen to them and to be stuck in a situation where they don't have somewhere to go home to. And I think they always thought of homelessness as sort of a condition and never as like an event that happened to someone uh, and that that's changed their thinking a lot. The job and bringing this to the kids' attention, but it was all, it was all them, right? At the end of the day. They're the 200 that came here, right? So, thank you. Um, in regards to staying the night, <laughs> uh, I can't imagine not having all the stuff I had to wear. It was very eye-opening, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was something else.